Okay, we are playing white against 2000 ELO engines, so let's play E4. Okay, so we're playing against the modern defense, so we got uh, a very, very aggressive line. I will show you it, uh, we'll show it uh, right now, so bishop to e3. We're basically trying to play f3, queen d2, uh, knight c3, and uh, go for a queen side castle in. So we're going to play extremely aggressive. Uh, yeah, let's play knight c3. Okay, and now queen d2. As you see, we already got some pressure against this position, and f3. Okay, and we want to launch a very, very uh, aggressive uh, uh, kingside attack. So let's play h3. Okay, so this is a nice move, of course. Um, it's trying to basically, uh, it's predicting that we're going to play for uh, for the queen side. Now we want to uh, keep keep playing aggressive. Um, Okay, so it seems like we're going to win a piece, but he's got this check in between. And this check in between is going to win the piece. So, for example, takes, you can play for a check. Uh, oh, sorry, let's see. So, we're going to take. He can play with a check, yeah, and then he can actually pick the bishop. Um, and yeah, so I guess it's a good time actually to go for a long castle. We don't really want to fall for some tricks. Now we take, and as you see, he got some problems on the dark squares. And he's trying to play aggressive as well, but I don't I don't really think that um, uh, black has a truly counter play for, uh, for our position. So, yeah, let's grab some more space, even h4. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, let's maneuver the knight to the king side. We're going to try to play aggressive. May, we are maybe going to even uh, sacrifice a pawn or two just uh, to open up some uh, lines. Oh yeah, I should have played the uh, h4 anyway, uh, even before. So let's maneuver back. Okay, and yeah, let's keep going. Okay, so as you see, this is now a very risky play because um, we're going to launch a very, very uh, decisive attack against this position. So I'm not really sure that uh, Black will be able to survive that, but we're going to see. Okay, and as you see, he's got some counterplay, but we can immediately just defend. We can even go uh, Knight C1 if if necessary, just to protect A A2. Um, but yeah, for now I don't really see any any danger. I think that everything is safe, and our queen is basically on a very safe spot. Of course, you can try to play with uh, some uh, uh, some ideas, but uh, as long as the queen is going to be uh, protecting uh, c1 and b2, I'm, I don't really see any danger. So now let's pick a pawn. Okay, and as you see now, we can play b3 after queen a3. We can actually protect uh, um, everything. Now, of course, if he's going to sacrifice his bishop, now we're going to be actually in some troubles. So we don't really want to allow that. So let's improve the position, the position of our bishop, so we can actually take. And yeah, this move is not really going to do anything. Now, of course, if I'm able to protect uh, this square with the knight, we're going to have a free, a free queen in order to defend. So I think. Uh, knight c1, he can go queen a3, then we can actually play um, knight d3, so we can protect everything. And as you see, we're going to use our other pieces in order to launch a queen side attack. So for now, we're temporarily block, blocking uh, the security of b2, which as you see is trying to play for a checkmate, but now this knight is protecting everything. He still got some uh, attacking chances if you're not careful on the A file, but uh, again, I do believe that we are uh, going to be much, much faster. Okay, so let's <clears throat> let's keep going. Let's play it aggressive as possible. Yeah, so let's play A5. Okay, now we take. Of course, if he's going to take, I can take with uh, my knight. And yeah, this is where the action actually starts. Okay, so as you see, you can. Hmm. 
I think that he already blundered the position completely. So basically, take if he's going to take, I can take with the check. So yeah, I think that he already blundered. So check, and we basically pick up a piece, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so we can actually take the knight. Uh, it's funny, but we might be even uh, have a stronger position. We can actually play for uh, g6 and take with the pawn because his position is uh, he's got a lot a lot of pressure on his position. So we have actually have a very strong uh, um, attack, and it seems like he must defend because uh, this is also a threat for a checkmate. So after he's going to take, I uh, can actually take the second knight. Uh, still, before playing that, we just need to make sure that we are not going to fall for any checkmates and we are completely fine. So, for example, uh, knight to f4, we might be in some troubles because he can try to basically um, uh, win, win the knight and play for a checkmate. So, if I'm going to play g6, um, okay, so if, for example, f4, we can actually play check and mate. And if he's going to try to protect, we can actually take with the pawn and then uh, pick up the free piece. So as you see, we must calculate. It's not. Uh, it's not. Uh, it's not like we are winning immediately. We still need to calculate everything and play it precisely. Okay. So basically, we take and play mate. That's it. Yeah, and that's it. So 29 moves uh, against 2000 Nilo engine. Uh, very fun game. Let's see the game review. It was actually quite short, I must admit. And yeah, let's see the review, guys. So we played with 91% uh, accuracy, which is very good, very decent. And if you want to, um, um, let's see. Okay, so if you want to estimate uh, the, the the ELO rating that we just played like, we played like a 20, 2250, so it was a very decent game. Yeah, and let's see the, the review. So as you see, this is a very aggressive line. Let me just show you it from a black perspective. Okay, so most likely a black is going to castle a king side, and now we have a very, very aggressive position, so... Uh, let's just analyze the game, but then I, I will show it from the black perspective, from black's perspective, and you will see how much this uh, simple but deadly structure is efficient. Again, the Pierce defense and the modern defense, which uh, is the reason why some people just avoid playing those openings because it's not so simple and and white as a very very strong uh, counterplay. Okay, so H H3 was actually a bit slow. H4 was better. Okay, g4 was also a bit slow, the engine prefer h4. Okay, long castle was good. And if you remember, I was, talk I was talking about the tactic in this, uh, in this position. So, if I'm going to take, for uh, it seems like we're going to win a piece and uh, we're going to be better. But it's not like, it's not like that. After taking the bishop, it, it got this check. And now, <clears throat> we can try, for example, to defend and we can basically win the bishop back. And if we're going to move the king, then you can take uh, our bishop and develop the knight. So as you see, this position is uh, a dead equal. So it's a dead draw for uh, both sides. So we don't really want to lose the, the advantage that we got. Okay, so that was the idea of the position. So long castle, long castle was best. He, take, he took, we take as well. And yeah, g5 was weak. Um, H3 was actually better to just stop before. Okay, knight to e2. And yeah, in this position I misplayed because h4 was actually much better. You don't really want to allow him to play uh, h4 and get some more space, which is uh, basically my bad. Okay, so knight to e2, f4. And as you see, uh, not such a simple position for black. We are playing very aggressive. Sorry. Okay, so knight to f3, a very uh, excellent move. Okay, uh, king b1, of course, you want to, uh, you want to stop any, <clears throat> uh, any mating threats and you need to make sure that your king is safe, so it's a very useful move. King b1. 
Okay, C4, as you see, is playing quite aggressive. Okay, so we took the pawn. We decided to push. Now I push my pawn as well. And now, if you remember, also I was talking about some ideas in this position. So we developed the bishop. Now let's say you play a slow move. Okay, let's play. Let's say you play uh, rook g3, and he played queen a3. Okay, with that, with the, he's trying to basically go for a checkmate. No, sorry, let me fix. So let's say you played the uh, rook g1, and then he decided to take. So it seems like you want a piece, but now, how do you stop the mate? You see, this is why in those kinds of positions you need to be extremely careful and you might lose this game if you're not careful. So, it's, if I can give you a tip guys, if you're struggling and trying to, to evolve as a chess player, uh, even sometimes you can play a move by, by intuition or by a feeling, but uh, you need always to prove yourself that uh, your move is good, that you can actually count on it. So, if you have... A move that you want to play you need to basically prove that this move is actually work so as you see i saw that you can basically basically sacrifice the bishop and then i'm going to be dead lost so i decided to uh, basically develop my bishop to defend this pawn but as you see we need the queen in order to protect everything okay so let's go back so b3 okay bishop g2 was an excellent move Okay, and rook c8 I found it to be quite slow and it's funny as it seems black is slightly slightly better but do you really want to play black in this position? Okay, so knight c1 again the idea is to meet uh, queen d3 and secure this pawn completely. Now of course before playing this move you must make sure my, um, uh, you must make certain that you cannot really exchange this knight because uh, if for example let's play a slow move let's say you want to uh, to get some more space after knight c5 you might be in some troubles now of course you can still defend the position but you get what i mean because if this is the defender you must make sure that you're not going to lose your defender uh, okay so knight to d2 uh, sorry knight to d3 now as you see this knight is going to be stuck protecting everything but now we got basically a bishop, knight, two rooks, queen, and a few pawns on the on the king side when you are trying to play for a checkmate. So even we're going to, to give one piece to stay on to stay defending the position. The rest are going to be more than enough to play for a win. Let's continue. Okay, so f6 terrible mistake. You don't want to open up the position. You're just making it uh, easier for white, and this is plus two for us f5 was a great move okay we took and this is actually plus four so you just see how strong is this position now we decide to play bishop d5 which was a terrible mistake and this is actually plus nine so black cannot survive this we took we take we took with the queen and decide to block with the rook now if you remember i was speaking about, about this position okay so i was talking about that I can actually push the pawn and then try to play for a mate. Now I was a bit worried about uh, knight to f4 because as you see you can try to basically attack, uh, attack the knight and then try to play for a checkmate. But as you see this move is not really fast enough because now you can actually take and play for a win. And also as you see this knight cannot really defend the rook. So I was thinking, thinking about that he's probably most likely going to play Rook f8, which you see it's, it's the best move. And now, of course, you want to take with the pawn. It's going to take back. And now you want to take the knight. And yeah, this is actually mate in seven. But regardless, it's it's uh, just deadly for black. Black cannot survive this. So again, even in, in those moves, I don't know. You, you want to take the knight. You want to take the rook or play, I don't know, g6. You can do... Uh, thousands of things but you need to calculate and you need to prove yourself that those moves are actually uh, going to give you the win so this is how you're going to evolve as a chess player okay so we played the move uh, g6 and knight b6 was basically just throwing the game completely of course now we took and we took again mate in one now if you remember i did promise to see it to see it to uh, show you the game from a black perspective so just see how much aggressive this line is 
So e4, g6, uh, d4. Okay, for now everything is theory. Okay. <clears throat> and as you see, uh, we are going to be very, very aggressive on the king side, and it's not so simple to attack the queen side for black. Okay, as you see, we have a lot of space, and in those kinds of positions, you don't always need to develop uh, those two pieces. Sometimes your pawn and queens and rook can just do uh, a huge amount of damage to his position. So, as you see, he still got some advanced pawns. Of course, but if you keep watching it from uh, White's perspective, basically you see that we managed to infiltrate, we got too much threats, and yeah, um, as you see, Black cannot really survive that. So, yeah, it was a very, very interesting match. Again, you can play, you can try to study this line better, but uh, it was very, very good. So just to show you one last thing again, guys. So in this in those kinds of position, f to e4, okay, you basically want to advance those two pawns against uh, the modern defense. Bishop e3, knight to c3, okay, queen d2, uh, f3, okay. As you see, you're uh, basically defending this pawn. You're creating a very very strong chain. You're also <clears throat> um, capture not capturing but uh, controlling uh, those dark squares around uh, your king okay you want to play for uh, aggressive uh, uh, line and play for a short uh, for a long castle and yeah very very fun for a uh, fun line for a uh, white so uh, try to try to give it a shot it's uh, very aggressive yeah uh, that's it for today uh, see you next time and thanks for watching guys